Good morning guys. It's actually like 11 a.m. and I just rolled out of bed maybe 20 minutes ago and I already have yesterday's vlog edited and now it's rendering not focus and you know I'm feeling I'm feeling very productive today. So hopefully after this I won't turn into a lazy bone. Video bombing me. That's what they call it now. Yeah. Well, it can't be picture bombing since it's <laughs> video. Oh, I don't know. Being a jerk. Hey. Not nice. Well. I'm 
magically we're home. Well, Sis and Justin have already left, but after that last clip, we went over to Target and um, picked up Mama a new keyboard because she got my old computer that was sitting right there. It's in the remains are the speakers, which I still need to take downstairs for her. But, like, I went to uh, move all of my music files over to my new computer, and I ended up actually accidentally deleting all of my music. Which, you know, it doesn't really bother me. I can always, like, get it back, but still, it's like, dang it. I didn't really have a whole lot of music, most mostly because all of my hard drives have always been small. I would always like burn my music to CDs and stuff, and so I never really had a whole lot of actual MP3 fl files on my computer. So uh, thankfully, I didn't really lose a whole lot. It was like less than it was less than three gigabytes worth of music, so it's not that bad. But, anyways, enough rambling. Um, so, yeah, I ended up getting really uh, frustrated and irritated because I found some old conversations from, like, 2006 on my old desktop. That just reading over it made me so angry at myself for, like, so many different reasons. Like, it was from my first relationship. And it was pretty much the breakup process. I saved the conversations. And, um, just seeing how whipped I was was just so ridiculous that, because that she didn't even deserve me, really. Because she was just a. a I don't really want to say because I have no idea who watches these videos, but she was just a giant biatch, pretty much, and she admitted it several times in the conversation that she was a bitch, so, uh, it was just not a fun thing to read, and also, and there was, like, this one part of, like, reading over it, I noticed that I picked up some of her bad habits as far as talking to people and at least talking to Micah and I used to be the most awesome girlfriend ever I think at least I'd like to think so but I kind of got like the past year well since like 2000 the start of 2011 where the, the start of the year just kind of started off shitty. Like, I just started getting kind of like these. Like, this is where my manic mood swings really started kicking in. And also, you know, Mike and I didn't know when we'd be able to see each other again. And, you know, I just was really irritated. And, you know, Micah wasn't, you know, feeling, feeling well either. She was just as equally frustrated and, you know, emotional and depressed and everything, and we just kind of started taking our emotions out on each other, and, you know, sometimes they wouldn't be good emotions, well, mo like, at the beginning of the year, it really wasn't good emotions. It was mostly depression and frustration and anxieties that we would just take out on each other. I don't know why I'm telling you guys my relationship stuff. But it's not like we're, our relationship is bad. We're going through the motions that every relationship goes through. It's just, I don't know, now I'm just, where I was reading those conversations, I just don't ever want to make Micah feel like she's unwanted or unloved. And you know, I never, I've never said anything to her that would make her feel like that, like, purposefully. But I feel like now I've probably said some things like that indirectly made her feel like that so I'm just so frustrated with myself that I could have made her feel like how my first girlfriend made me feel and it just sucks so bad so 
I'm going to try to make things right and work hard in the relationship. A lot harder than I've, I've been trying because of everything going on, but, you know, I, I don't think I can give, like, 100% because my mom, you know, needs me right now, so. I have no idea what to talk about now because I feel like I, I don't want to continue, you know, talking about my relationship. So I'll just transition. I got some new chucks because I have, like, both of my chucks, like this pair and the pair that are over there that I drew all over, um, I've had since that first relationship, which was in like 2006. And so I got these new chucks that are blue. It's a really nice shade of blue. And uh, I want to rock these things, man. So I, I love me some Converse. I also love Vans, but. I already have like one, two, three pair of those, and my white ones, white, black and white check ones are kind of like stained, and then I scrubbed them with soap, and now they're like, the fabric feels really like kind of, almost feels like it's dry rotted, but I know it's not. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking because I need to go to bed because it's almost 3 a.m., uh, I kind of want to wake Micah up, but at the same time, I know she said she wanted to sleep. So I'm going to go. I love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Remember to give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Bye for now.